Hello, my name is Francis Omanefe, an exploration geophysicist with Frandi Consulting. About a year ago, I made a video on how you can um, use 1D resistivity data to create a pseudo cross section as well as a resistivity cross section using IPI to win. And questions have been asked how to add elevation or topography to it. So today we'll be adding elevation or topography to that particular video the link to that video will be posted on the description below so you can just check it out because i won't go through the process from the beginning because the video will be too long so i'll just go straight to where we can add elevation to the 1d set to the 1d data set to create a topo data all right so um, from the last video, what we did was to open our Excel sheet or our data. So this is the data I used for, for the video. Then next, you open your IPI to me. Who can I turn to love? There is no one. Yes, <laughs> if you don't help me, Lord, who can we run to? No one. No one. No one. Cause there's no me without you. The mother club and this is your result. You click on save. Click on save. Next, let's add a new point. We call that to BS2. This is for our BS2. There is no There is no me without you. So now pay attention. No me. So let's launch our IPI to win again. Now you click on file. The first file you want to add the first file you click on open and these are bs1 so now folder let's bs1 so this is the curve for bs1 then you click on file you click on add new file you add your bs2 we'll ask you to save now let's save it as Combine. Then you save. So this is the point you add your elevation or your topography. So um, at VS one is at zero point. VS two. Okay, let's let's remove it. This is VS one. This is VS two. This is at zero point, then the next distance was at 50 meters. Now, at your Z, this is where you add your elevation. So, um, the first one was in negative one. Negative one. Second one, VS2 was at zero point zero points okay you add again you add another file this time vs3 you ask to save you are still saving it as combined click ok want to replace it yes so these are vs3 vs3 is at 100 meters we have our elevation to be negative 2 click on ok so you add add another file vs4 actually to save as combined you want to replace it yes so these are vs4 these are vs4 the elevation was at one negative one point five. 
click on OK. So add another BS point. Add another BS point. BS file, I think. Bye. BES 5. The elevation was at 0. So let's add another point. BES 6. See if we can combine this it. Yes. Okay, elevation is negative 1. BES 6. BES 6. And lastly, let's add our last file, BS7. Ask you to save it as combine. Replace it. BS7. Elevation is at 1. Zero point five. So these are elevation. These are distance from BS one to BS seven. These are BS files. You can add the comments if you want. Click OK. So this are. Uh, So this is our pseudo cross section where you have your BS1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is your pseudo cross section and this is your resistivity cross section. So you can see your elevation point here, 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 and here. You can see the resistivity values for each layers. So uh, if you want the topography to show here, your elevation to show at the pseudo cross section, you go to your session, you click on log lean over log scale. So here we go. Subscribe and share the link to as many students as you can to help them. I believe these videos will help them in their projects.